Whoa! Hello, hello, hello. One day I'm gonna have a decent intro. Leila Murad is on her way. She should be here in one minute. We're gonna go get some. It's Saudi street food, but it's Lebanese. Uh, Saudi cuisine is highly influenced by Lebanese cuisine, Egyptian cuisine, Syrian, etc. So that's what we're doing today. Episode two. Hey, I can't. You have to close the camera. Or else I'll just get. <laughs> So guys, this is Layla. Uh, so she's Lebanese. I'm gonna eat Lebanese food. So we'll see who's the expert in the video. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? Let's get some food. So what? Okay. We're gonna get hummus, of course. Um, all right. <laughs> So they're used to me with my Tupperware at this point. I just wanna vibe. Take you to an island, show you how I live my life, oh girl. I'm just in this for you, right? You don't like these riches, oh girl. Lala, it's a hundred out of ten. Ah, I'm gonna go mine. It's really hot. I can't even. But it's soft, but it's not even true. I'm gonna be a hundred out of ten. They gave us extra falafel for as a gift, but God, look at the oil! <laughs> oh, the greenery! Oh, I can't believe this is in Riyadh. So typically they airplane. <laughs> oh, one second. <laughs> All right, so we are next to the airport, kind of. So that's why there's gonna be a lot of planes here. So we're sorry about the noise. Hopefully we'll stop. Anyway, so we brought mint tea. Typically they drink tea with. The this kind of food, right? Like yeah, this, guys, yeah, you know. it's like black tea. Yeah, and it doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense, like because like it's usually hot. Yeah, but that's I that's don't the way do we personally, do it. But like, yeah, lots of people do do that. Yeah. So we're trying to do this like kind of more in an eco-friendly way. Takeout usually it's harder. Yeah, like usually takeout takes up a lot of waste. So I try to bring a lot of Tupperware. They gave us this as a gift. And this, all right. And like this way, like it's so easy to have it as leftovers. Oh, that's so cute. You bring your own cutlery? Yeah. Like What's this? this? Here's the bread. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we can do this as a plate for you. Okay, yeah. Know. So all is right. plastic fine or what's happening? So if it's like reusable plastic, this my mom bought. I yeah. try to avoid as much as possible. Yeah. Like these, I got them new. Yeah. Like something I have like before, Exactly. It doesn't make sense doesn't to matter. throw it away. Yeah, exactly. yeah. To it's know what's the do's close. or don'ts so I can do this too. <laughs> so, this is fatouche. We both usually get it without bread, but we forgot this time. Yeah. But that's good, so we can like show them like the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. This is yeah. how it's usually done. Sometimes you can fry the bread or sometimes they just like... Uh, yeah, I it. bake it. Yeah, yeah. I bake it, exactly. Mm -hmm. But you can remove it. I think it's yeah. pretty easy to remove. But I feel like it's half of the salad. Yeah. They also put mint in it. Oh yeah, and mint. I love it when it has mint. Falafel balls. I have a baked version on my website. And then the falafel wrap, which I'm really excited about. I haven't had these in a while. At this point, I think everyone knows hummus. Yeah. And I'm so happy. I remember like thinking when I was in college, like hummus needs to make it internationally. Yeah. And then this is mtebbel. Mtebbel is made out of eggplants, tahini, which is sesame seed butter. That's basically it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what else they put in there. Yeah, and like Tomatoes lemon. Sometimes. Yeah. It's 40 degrees, <laughs> but we're drinking tea. Okay, you're not even showing. Really? Oh my god. See, like, that's why I'm such a bad YouTuber. No, no, no. Turn it. Like, okay, what do you want to try first? I mean, we've tried this. Yeah, I mean, we've had it. I have this very often, actually. It's the easiest vegan food, I think, mean, to have. And yeah. everywhere you go, like, everyone loves Lebanese food, so it's so easy to be like, oh, let's go to a Lebanese place. Exactly. And, like, whatever I order, everyone eats, too. Yeah. Uh, what do you do when you need napkins? I have, like, fabric ones. Yeah. But yeah, I, I always forget that. to like bring them because <laughs> I, I, I just got used to not eating. This is like my main thing. This is my main problem. Most I Arab so girls. Much <laughs> my God. But I just got used Everywhere to it. Everywhere I go, I'm like, okay, let's just before we do anything, where the okay. dishes at? <laughs> I love these. They're so cute. Today I was thinking, like, why did Lebanese food influence Saudi cuisine so much? But Saudi cuisine has like 
no <laughs> zero <one>. influence <laughs> in Lebanon and not just like Lebanon like all the neighboring countries yeah that's true like maybe just like Kuwait and the UAE we kind of have like similar food and maybe Bahrain but other than that it's yeah. like yeah and yeah I've never seen Saudi food outside of Saudi yeah I don't know why if anyone knows I think it's because like it's really hard to make and yeah. Saudi like kind of keep to themselves and it, for a big like Maybe, majority yeah. and like Lebanese like like if you go to Brazil like, you could find Lebanese people yeah I mean Brazil and Lebanon are very um, there's a lot of Lebanese people in Brazil yeah. that like brought back a lot of things and like they, oh. I think they switched like, there's a lot of things that we do like I don't know if you know Yerba Mente yeah I, I would I wanted to bring that instead of oh, like mint tea, but I was like, have oh, it? I don't have it. So I was like, oh, oh my god, I'll bring it one time. <laughs> oh my god, that's like my Sweet. thing. What does it taste like? It's very bitter, yeah. but it's like, it has so many health benefits. Mm. And it's like, it's an acquired taste, but you love it. Kind of like coffee. Uh, like, what is of. the bitterness? Is it like kind of green tea bitter? Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Like, once you get into it, you get addicted. Like, it's so good for you. And you feel so like cleansed. And it's mostly water. It's not like coffee. Coffee, I feel like, is so dense. Yeah. But I think with yerba mate, it's awesome. One exactly. time we'll have like a little sit down with yerba. Oh my god, that would be amazing! Another video coming. So <laughs> passionate about your. <laughs> I but love that's it. Great. Like, Yo, I, love I remember it. I was in a Palestinian store and I was like, I saw it and I was like, I don't want to get it because like I know you'd love it so much but then I was like yeah you I already like have so much oh what you need like a set there's like a thing you drink out of and like it's like a whole mm. thing I think like the reason Lebanese food spread so much it's because it's so good yeah. it's like my favorite cuisine it really really is so yeah. delicious and I you don't get bored of it I, it that's exactly what I was gonna say like I never never get sick of Lebanese exactly. food and there's so much variety yeah that's so true like I could have a plate of hummus and be done you know, a hundred percent. These I are tried. so good. I'm working on a tabel recipe. Some restaurants put like yogurt in it. Yeah. So with the tabel, yeah, we usually just ask about. I want to have some of the tea. Now I get why they have it. <laughs> I need like something to like wash it. Yeah. yeah, wash it down with. Okay, I want to try the sandwich. What's cool about it is that like every restaurant makes it differently. Like that's so true. Sometimes you'll be like, okay, Lebanese food, but you'll find out that some restaurant like tastes better than the other. And then every cuisine like. Palestinians make their falafel differently. Yeah, exactly. Like they wrap it differently. Like they wrap mm -hmm. it like with sage. Yeah. And then Syrians Ooh, do yummy. it differently. And then Saudis do it differently. And then yeah. Egyptians do it completely <laughs> differently. With like a lot more spice. <laughs> yeah. They're all like so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many different kinds. Good. Exactly. All right, let's give this a try. This one is a, a very simple mm -hmm. one. I've had one in a Lebanese restaurant in Turkey. And they would add uh, sweet potatoes Ooh. and they would add cauliflower. The cauliflower is fried, but it's a vegetable at least. <laughs> what else did they add? They just add and hummus and they just add a bunch of stuff. Yum. which looks so <gasps> good. I the love the best. really thick ones. Yeah. So the camera shut off. <laughs> I don't even know where to <laughs> stop. Um, I stopped by like spilling hummus all over me. <laughs> <laughs> this cat needs to just... We don't have any meat. Okay, I'm full. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. This tea is definitely coming in handy. So yeah, check out Leila's channel. She has a huge channel. In Arabic, if you speak Arabic. Yeah. If not, just like watch, you know. <laughs> just let the ads roll, you know. <laughs> Help us with the out. Did you mention that? We're filming before Ramadan. We filmed this before. Ramadan. <laughs> I can't even like any tight any. I can't even imagine like eating like in the open. Yeah. Like, in Ramadan in the in the Middle East, There's you no can't way. just eat yeah. in the open. Even if you're like not practicing the religion, like, yeah. You just, it's so disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Yeah. No, so obviously, it's not open. We're not doing that. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be still here. <laughs> um, How do you say bye on your videos? <laughs> What can she do?